Peace, peace, beautiful beings. Yes, it is me. It is Coach B. I'm back once again after another disappearing act. And actually, the intent of this video is to actually explain, hopefully for the final time, what's been going on. And I feel really confident about what I'm about to share with you today. So we should have it nipped in the bud from henceforth, right? Fingers crossed. First of all, don't worry about my totes and stuff back here. I am participating in my first vending event of 2022 this Saturday. So I will be a repeat vendor at a marketplace here in my hometown. So I have all my things packed up and organized and some things up here like the yellow basket and stuff that I got to tag and organize. So I'm recording this video on Thursday. So there's two days before the event. So I'm super excited. Got everything still packed up and packed away. And over here, don't be all up in my business worrying about that I still got Christmas festivities going on in my house. And don't worry about my broken fingernail. It's a lot going on. A lot going on. So again, I'm here to just tell you today what's been happening. A spiritual revelation as you can see by the thumbnail that I had today. And again, hopefully this propels my channel in the direction that it needs to go, as well as it stops me from being discouraged to record content because now I'm clear and focused about what I'm doing and who I'm doing it for and all of the things. So if you want to know more about that and hopefully stay with me on this channel and this journey, stay tuned. Okay. So maybe a month or two ago, I made a video basically talking about the channel direction and how three days a week I was going to be recording content and on Mondays it was going to be a particular thing and Wednesdays is going to be a particular thing and Friday is going to be a particular thing and I think I kept up with that schedule maybe two weeks, a week and a half and then I disappeared. And... So if you don't know this about me, I, again, I'm Coach VMP, welcome. I created and trademarked the Mental Health is Sexy brand, and I'm an author, I'm a speaker, I'm a relationship coach, self-mastery coach, a certified mindfulness coach, like all of the things, but I never clearly defined like what I'm doing and who I'm doing it for. So for example, 18 months ago, my application was approved that I filed with an attorney's help to trademark my mental health is sexy brand. When my application got approved, my initial idea behind my brand was to raise mental health awareness in general, right? So then in the past 18 months, my life has went through all types of situations. I became a grandmother. Um, I was estranged from my daughter for a while and we reconciled just before my granddaughter was born so I was there to help bring her into this world and celebrate her existence. Um, my marriage ended last year in one of the most traumatic ways that you could think of and so I've really been spending the past 18 months, the past 8 months, excuse me, healing myself, rebounding from that trauma. I was homeless for 95 days last year as a result of my marriage ending. My hair was falling out in clumps. I wasn't eating. I was in a fisticuffs battle with depression and I had to kick her ass. Um, there was just a lot going on, right? A lot going on. So in the process of me wanting to feel like myself again and feel settled and get back to my businesses and my brand, I was trying different things, different avenues to do, but I still felt lost. You know, I, I, I knew mental health awareness was my jam. I knew my brand was mental health is sexy, but I think I was still respond. I don't think because we own stuff over here. I now understand that I was still responding from a space of trauma, uh, a space of anger, a space of, oh, I need to prove a point when I was trying to include black men in my messaging and my self-mastery teachings. And I'm not just talking about YouTube. I'm talking about all my social media, you know, my, my posting, period, TikTok, all of those things. So... My birthday is in 29 days. Tourist season is upon us. And 
I'm beginning chapter 42. And I have been convicted in my spirit to let 42 be my comeback year. To get back on top of and ahead of my finances. To get my avatar together. To grow my hair uh, back out healthy. To... to um, correct and heal and reduce my scalp psoriasis which I really feel like flares up when I'm in a stressful state to get my bills back in order to become more active and consistent with my business and my branding to continue on my healing journey not just for myself but for my family as well as for the community at large so I had all of these things going on so I'm just moving, right? I'm being water. I'm being fluid. I'm just moving. I'm just pivoting. I'm just chasing ideas without really a plan or a, a focused course of action. So with all that being said, in year 42, being on the doorstep, this morning when I entered into meditation, I had a very specific question. And I asked my spirit guides to show me what to do because I, I feel like I'm in a space mentally and emotionally to take on new opportunities for my brand, to build my business out, to improve my finances, to, to grow my bag, to get my body together, to keep my skin moisturized, to grow my hair back in a healthy manner, to have my smile be genuine. To, to really dig deep and create the life, not only that I want, but that I'm finally beginning to feel like I truly deserve. Let that sink in. So when I entered into meditation, my question was simple. Show me what I need to do, what steps I need to take to align with everything I just said that I wanted. I don't want confusion. I want peace. I want clarity. I want conciseness. I want to be focused. I want to have drive. I want to persevere. I want to trust, believe, and know that this is my thing. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is how I'm going to do it. And so the spiritual revelation that I had, when I enter into meditation, I'm clear audience, right? So clear audience means I clearly hear and I'm also clairsentient, so I, I, but I clearly hear and feel and sometimes in my mind's eyes see a response from spirit, right? And not too long into my meditation, all of those things happened. And the message I got was big, bold, and, and very clear, and it said, tighten up your brand messaging. Now, of course, at first, my human side wanted to resist because within the past couple months, I just pivoted my brand messaging. So as I mentioned 18 months ago, when I applied for, well, that's not when I applied. I applied before 18 months, but 18 months ago, I got approved. It took some months to go through the process because of COVID and all those things. But in any event, at the point that I got my brand approved, my message was generally just to raise mental health awareness. In the past couple months, I just pivoted my brand message, messaging to be more specific to say that I'm on a mission to make great mental health a priority in BIPOC relationships. Now, BIPOC is an acronym for Black Indigenous People of Color. And even though my messaging, my services, and my products transcend race, nationality, religion, sexual preference, all of those things, I wanted to make sure that the people who looked like me knew that I also was specifically including them in my message. So when I got that message this morning saying, tighten up your brand messaging, I'm like, wait a minute, I just did. I just went from a general message of mental health awareness to a more specific message of being on a mission to make great mental health a priority within BIPOC relationships. But then the answer came to me that, yes, you did that but you're still all over the place with your content because you are still not accepting the fact that the only reason why you want to include black men in your messaging is because you still 
are on the path of forgiving your husband. You still are on the path of healing from the trauma he placed upon you. You are still on the path of trying to prove a point that men need to get it together. And when that clarity came to me this morning, I'm like, duh. And the moment that I stopped fighting that message, the moment that I stopped justifying, oh, but they need it, or oh, yeah, I did change my messaging, and they need to know I'm talking to them, blah, 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 blah. At the moment that I just submitted myself to the message, humbled myself to God, to the universe, to the creator, whichever word fits for you, I felt such, it was like literally a film was removed off of my eyes. Because I became so clear in my purpose, so clear in what it meant to tighten up my brand messaging. So now I'm pivoting again. I was pivoting all my social media. I made adjustments on my website messaging. And now I'm here on YouTube. And my pivot is this. I am here to help my sis stars, sis stars. Because my sisters are stars. I'm here to help my sisters move from heartbroken to healed. And by me helping my sis stars move from heartbroken to healed, that's how I'm going to get this message to the black men that need to also move from heartbroken to healed, that need to heal their trauma, that need to understand that mental health is sexy. Boom. That was my spiritual revelation today. So with that being said, I am yet again changing the direction of my channel. So instead of having the three days of recording where I broke down three different uh, topics that I'm talking about on my channel, as you can see from the thumbnail in this video, my videos from this moment forward are going to be geared toward the women who look like me. The black indigenous women of color that look like me. So when we talk about social media in age ranges, I fall in the age range of 35 to 44, right? So to me, those are women who have either been married or are still married or in long-term situationships, short-term situationships, are separated, are divorced, are widows. And so they found their careers. They're entrepreneurs. They're pursuing a higher degree of learning. They've raised their children or their children are about to be grown. They have been through some things in life. And they've mastered so many areas of their life. They're mature now. They're free. But they may have not given so much attention to healing from past trauma from a relationship. So because they haven't given that specific area attention, they make decisions on mates that doesn't really serve them long term because they're not addressing what the real challenge is. These are women who got their own bag, who may drive their own foreign, who have their own home, who's raised children, who may not want any more children, who are now free to, to travel. They may be grandparents such as myself. These are women that have secured every other area of their life. And not to say that they're, you know, out here super struggling with mental health challenges or anything like that. They just recognize that there is an area of opportunity for them. And it may not be a clinical area of opportunity. It may just be simply talking or hearing from someone who looks like them who's been where they've been, and who's still actively doing their work to heal and thrive after a traumatic breakup. And not only that, talking about self-care, talking about beauty from the inside out, talking about maintenance routines, talking about makeup choices, talking about clothing decisions, talking about the challenges that we have now when being over 40 was losing stubborn belly fat. You know, all the things that help make us the bad bees that we are, the queens that we are, 
all the things that help us cultivate and share the black girl magic, the black woman magic that we are just filled with. That's my tribe. Those are the people that I need to talk to. And again, my epiphany let me know that by reaching the women that fit that description, that look like me, that have experiences like me, that have been through things in life like me, and that are ready to elevate to that next level, by reaching them, I'll be able to reach the black man through these women. So that's what this video is about. The direction channel, the channel direction for my YouTube space. So I hope that you feel in me. I hope that it fits you. I hope that you stay. I hope that you bring your friends and family and sisters and aunties and BFFs and workplace associates. Tell them to like this channel. Tell them to subscribe. Tell them to comment on a few videos because we are about to get into some things. We're about to get into some things. And even when I'm explaining this to you now in this video, I feel so free and so clear and so concise in my messaging that it's about to go down. Period. Poo. <laughs> so let me know in the comments what you think about this. I hope you stay. Because even if you're not specifically in the demographic I described, as I mentioned earlier, my brand messaging transcends nationality, age, race, sexual preference, gender identification, religion, it transcends all of the things. So I'm pretty sure you stick here with me, you still will be able to find value from the content that I produce. We are on a mission to heal trauma all 2022. We are on a mission to align with uh, opportunities to share our message so we are aligned to opportunity to align with organizations. I'm so excited I'm getting tongue tied organizations and people that we can continue to help moving forward. I just received a message from Spirit, though, this morning that I have to tighten up on my brand messaging. So that's what I'm here to do. So my sisters, my sisters who are stars, which are all of you, whether your complexion looks like mine or not, you're still my sister. But just know that some information will be directly ta tailored to the ones who look like me. Because unfortunately, we are still the most unsupported, the most unrecognized, the most challenged, <laughs> the most not believed. And that just puts me in mind, shout out to the first black Supreme Court justice, my sister, Katanji. I don't know her personally. I just made it sound like I do. Um, she was finally approved and appointed today um, as I'm recording this video. So shout out to her. And, we, and if you've been following her story that's been all over the media, you see how she was grilled and challenged when she had like a massive amount of overqualification compared to her counterpart. So that is just further support and testimony to what I just said about my messaging transcending all barriers. However, a lot of it is going to be specifically targeted to the women who look like me because I feel like we need the most support. So, okay, there's that on that. So I hope you join me for this new journey. This is um, season one of this, episode one of this, where I'm sharing with you my spiritual revelation. Instead of just posting all these random videos, and you're like, wait a minute, that ain't what this channel is about. It is. As of today, it is what this channel is about. And for those of you who enjoy my videos, when I talk about angel numbers and share them, you already know I'm going to find a way to include those types of videos. I'm still going to upload those videos because it also gives me joy to teach about angel numbers and to um, share their significance in my life and hopefully help you in making decisions and guiding you in your own life. So don't worry, my angel number community. We still on those things as well. Thank you so much for watching. Again, like this video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, comment on the video let me know if you're still rocking with me i don't think i'm going to go back and delete any videos from the last pivot i think the information is still cool it's still relevant um we're just going to upload new videos and keep it pushing from there so thank you again so much for tuning in and i will see y'all soon